So you want saxophone in your song, but instead you get something like this. Well, I'm here to tell you that with a little help from AI and a service called Automy, you can take that and turn it into this. You are watching Sound Learn. So one of the cooler new features that Automy has that I haven't really seen too many people doing is being able to convert vocals or something else into a specific instrument. So I was curious to put this to the test because I had one song in specific that I never really did anything with that I wrote with a friend. We envisioned having a saxophone in the intro of the song is kind of like the main hook, but all we had was an electric kazoo. So we ended up recording this. So obviously that sounds terrible. That was done with an electric kazoo, which I didn't even know existed until my friend Jonathan came by with it and said, we're making a song with this and this is what came out. But um, we thought it was a cool idea and, and it was kind of a placeholder to hopefully one day be able to record it with like a sax player or something. But let's be real, I don't really know any sax players that I could just hit up. And the ones that I do know are session musicians that I'd have to probably spend at least 150 bucks to come in and just like lay down a few lines. So when I saw that Automy had released this new feature, I was like, okay, this is the perfect time to try this out. Let's take these crappy kazoo recordings, tune them up a little bit, and let's see if we can get something good out of it. So once it was tuned, it sounded a little bit better. but I still think it could sound better if it was a real saxophone. Again, I don't have the budget to hire somebody to play sax right now, so now I have a little bit of a dilemma. I could just use a MIDI saxophone to replace this, but I've never really heard like a good proper MIDI sax that has the same kind of expression that even a kazoo has. And so this is where we put the features to the test. Can we take this kazoo and turn it into a proper saxophone? Okay, time out. Unbiased opinion here, I know this is a sponsored video, but they never told me what to say. They never said I could say good or bad things. They just said, can you make a video for us? And this is my unbiased opinion. That sounds great for something that took about 10 seconds to convert, coming from a kazoo and then sounding like a saxophone. This is a game changer for me. Now we're gonna convert the harmony, the second kazoo, sax, whatever it is. All right, so I've imported them into Pro Tools and now I'm gonna compare and contrast. To be fair, I've tweaked it a little bit, given a little bit of EQ, but that's only fair because the kazoo also already had a bit of EQ going on and some reverb. So let's compare. So to me, this sounds like a nice middle ground between what we had with the kazoo and the MIDI and maybe what a real saxophone would sound like. Either way, this solves a pretty big problem when it comes to production for me, which is that I can't always afford to, on the dime, get a session player that'll come in and, and lay down a track that maybe I won't even know if I'm gonna keep. But this at least gets me to the point where I can now just input a voice, or in this case, a kazoo, and get a pretty good result. Something I noticed a little bit when I was actually like messing around with the mix for this, but you can almost hear like, kind of like the wind going through it and the valves being pressed if you listen carefully. It's a little bit of like an on off thing, which is a real thing when you hear an actual saxophone player and you record them, you tend to pick that up. So I thought that was really interesting that it's good enough to the point where it's simulating a little bit of that of what you would get in an actual recording from a saxophone. Now it's important to note here that they never said anything about converting a kazoo into a saxophone. That was just me trying to push what's possible with this and I was really curious to see if it worked. And I'd say it's a pretty good success. Like I, I like it more than the kazoo that I had before. I mean, you compare and contrast and for me, 
it serves the song better. But the way it's being marketed is more about vocals to an instrument. So I figured let's go ahead and experiment some more. Let's do it the way that they propose, which is let's take our vocals and see what would happen if we converted them into a saxophone. You try to run from everything. You want a second opinion about it all. And we're gonna convert that into a saxophone, hopefully. We'll see how that works. You try to run from everything. You want a second opinion about it all. That was not what I was expecting. I didn't expect that it would still keep in sort of the consonants in the vowels. That sounds really cool. I've never heard anything like that. It's such an uncanny valley sort of thing because it sounds like a saxophone, but you're able to like talk through it. It's, it's kind of insane. And so from a creative standpoint, I can already see myself using that, but now I'm understanding what they're trying to do here. So let's try to pretend like we're recording a sax solo with our vocals. So let's go ahead and grab a mic. We just put this away and we're getting it back out now. Thus is the life of a studio. So I'm gonna do my best sax solo with my mouth. Okay, so it's not the greatest sax solo ever, but this is more of a proof of concept. I'm not gonna tune it or anything. I just wanna see what it sounds like if I just convert it straight, as is. This is out of tune because I sang it slightly out of tune. If you were to pitch correct that, it would sound pretty close to the real thing, I think. And so this is currently in beta, which is really important to keep note of because this is technically the worst it'll be. Like it's already pretty good, but they just launched this, I think like a week ago from when I'm making this video. And obviously they have a bit of a limited selection of instruments right now, but it seems obvious to me that this list will grow and suddenly you're gonna have a bunch of other instruments that maybe aren't as easily accessible that you'll now be able to incorporate into your productions without having to go too far out of your way to even see if it's viable. It feels more expressive than MIDI, which I really like. It's a really positive example of what you can do with AI that you couldn't previously do, like sound design opportunities that didn't exist before. It's a better placeholder than MIDI would have been, and you can still have somebody come in after the fact. And I think it's a great tool and it's a great example of how AI doesn't have to be all destructive. You could argue this is going to take jobs away from certain instrumentalists, but I disagree. I think this can be used more as a production tool and as a sound design tool, and I think it really opens up the possibilities to what you can do in your productions. So that's the main new feature I wanted to talk about because I just thought it was really interesting and I thought it would make for a good video. But um, since my last video about Automy, they've actually been updating it and adding more and more features and I assume they're gonna keep adding more. But one of the big ones is isolating vocals. And obviously if you've seen my channel, you know that there's other ways to do this, there's free ways to do this. Um, but something that's really nice about Automy is that it's simple, it's easy, it's quick. So if you're not gonna be the kind of person that's gonna be diving into like one of those like open source kind of programs and don't have a GPU that can kind of do it, this is really simple. So you just drag in any song and you can remove the instrumental so it'll get rid of the instrumental if you want the vocals. It even has the ability to remove background vocals, so harmonies and stuff like that, it can get rid of them. Um, reverb and echo can get if you want something really dry. And another toggle here that I noticed says, remove noise, enable this to clean up your audio, which is something that is already provided by other applications and software and stuff like that. But it's nice that if you are using Automy and you do have credits and you choose to use it for some of the other main features it has, that it also kind of has this as an added bonus that just works well. But I'm curious to know what you think because a lot of people have different uh, ideas about AI and how that's gonna affect music production and stuff. Personally, I'm seeing it as more of a positive thing, but uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So comment down below what you think. And um, if you do like what you hear and what you see, you can try out Automy now by using the link below. It's a referral link. So again, that helps me out a ton. So go ahead and check it out. And I'd love to hear what you create with this. So you can hit me up on Instagram or you can send me a message on here or just write a comment, whatever. And of course, if you liked the video, show me you liked it. And if you wanna see more, subscribe. So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a good one.